Hey everyone, Andrew here, and today we will solve another SQL problem from the lead code. Uh, so uh, today's problem is this average time of process per machine. So let's start. So what do we have here? We have activity table. Um, and we have four columns. Machine ID, process ID, activity type, and time step. Uh, machine ID is the idea of a machine, process ID is the idea of a process, activity type is a category of type start end, and timestamp is a float representing the current time in seconds. Okay. Uh, and we need to find the average time each machine takes to complete a process. Okay, so time to complete a process and minus start and the resulting table should have machine ID along with the average time as processing time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and here is an example so if we have the zero we have like two slots for starting end this one and this one and then we just divide it in two because two is the number of processes. And then the result. It's interesting if we, will, we can use here average function from MySQL, but uh, first of all, uh, what I want, I want to measure this, this, like in one line. So I want to have something like, I want to have a row where I will have uh, activity start timestamp and activity end timestamp and then I may count like the whole process in time for the process so uh, let's, let's do it so uh, we will need something like select uh, a1 machine ID from activity a1 join activity a2 so we join this table itself uh, on 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 a1 machine id is equal to a2 machine id and a one process ID is equal to a two process ID uh, and a one activity name is not equal to because we don't want to duplicate so one activity name or maybe let, let me show you how it looks uh, now uh, let's do this a one process id a one activity type uh, a two activity type Maybe a one timestamp a two activity type. It's interesting that the marvelous problems are easy. I don't think that's quite easy problem. And a two timestamp. Yeah. So now uh, when we run it, uh, we have this output. So you, you see that we have some kinds of uh, some kinds of duplicates because here is the first one, here is the second one. Uh, so uh, uh, we need to write something uh, where 
a one activity type. Uh, it's not equal to a two activity type. So we have this start start uh, like and start start and so now we have just you know slip flippers uh, so let's just do and something like a one activity type is equal start. So now we have pretty nice view. We have machine ID, process ID, start, and machine ID, process ID, like next process, start, and, and the same for, for the rest. So with this, uh, we can count like uh, process in time. Oh, like process time, which will be equal uh, a two time stamp because a two is end stamp minus a one time stamp s. Uh, maybe we should put it in brackets, but let's try. Okay, now we want to um, round it to three places. Here's my friend dog comes to us. Do you know my SQL? Rock, do you know my SQL? Mm, I think you know something. Uh, it's interesting why we have this. Strange numbers. Okay, let's round it. I think we'll round two, three. We have this round two decimal places. Uh, two, three decimal places. Uh, so we need to do something like round. We'll do this. Yep. Now we have this time. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I think we don't need currently these columns. So we will have some more compacted view. Okay, so we have machine ID process ID and we have the process type. So uh, now Let's do something like um, we can put it into the window function. I'm not sure if in my SQL we have it, but something like this. No, no, no window function, but common table expression, sorry. And now we can do something like select um, 
machine ID AVG, like average of process time from this CTN, this from process times. An aggregate function or by machine ID. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's okay, and we need call it like processing time. Maybe let's do this, this, and this. Now it works perfectly. So the idea of this CTA is that we just we put it in like in a let's say temporary table, temporary result output, and then use it as it's like a table. The another solution may be to do, 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 uh, maybe to join it. Maybe not. Anyway, I, I prefer this way. So let me summarize with this. With this we grab processing time for, for each process for a machine and with this we get this average time for all plus process for a machine. If you don't really understand how it works, just write a comment and maybe I prepare uh, some video about it. About this, about this whiz, what's going on? But this like CTA, sorry, CTA, my SQL. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Documented, so we have here temporary result that that exists within the scope of single statement, and it be referred to later within the statement. Okay, so uh, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.